find off. You can do this from the right sides facing, but if I do that, it's going to have that on the right side. Okay, the mm -hmm. bind off stitch. So I probably want to do it from the wrong side facing. And what you facing do? Out, facing out. Yeah. Yes. Normally in knitting, all finishing is done with the right side facing you. This is the one exception where you have the wrong side. And as I've said, these stitch holders are nice because you can unclip either end and they are kind of a pain with that thing getting in the way, but you can get those out. You want to line them up and then you simply knit the two stitches together, okay, on the front and the back needle, okay, whoops, except these plastic needles, they're great to hold the stitches, but they're plastic needles. Okay, there's that one. And what I'll do is I'll bind off uh, knit-wise, purl-wise, so you can see that. Now, normally I'd just be doing knit-knit, but I can do, I'd go from the back to the front. Okay, there's my second stitch. And normally I'd be doing this knit-knit, but I just want to show you what it looks like. And then, like any bind-off, I pull that stitch over. I'm going to knit. Pull that stitch over, just like a regular bind off. And I'll purl this time just to so that you can do this purl wise as well. What was knit? Oh, that was knit. No. Now I'm knitting. And so I'm taking the light. Uh, I need to put my glasses on, blind as a bat. Hold on. You don't want to split stitches here. I've just demonstrated that that's not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually. Oh, it's the end of the world. I've dropped a stitch. I'm going to run my, throw my knitting down and run from the room screaming. No, I'm going to calmly put things back where they belong and split the stitch again. I'm demonstrating that it is possible to split a stitch. Now, the problem with this is, you can see, anytime you're dealing with three needles, it's kind of like juggling monkeys. <laughs> you know, you got needles everywhere, and it can be a little tricky. And I'll do one more, and then I'll show you the bind off. And managing three is harder than managing two. All right. Now, remember how I said normally it's going to be on one side on the example that I had there's my bind off and it's on one side of the stitches. Notice how in this one when I did it knit purl wise, it's on top of the stitches. So if I were doing this for a child's sweater on the right side and I wanted to have a cute little, you know, line going up the center, that's how you do it. You just bind off knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. Okay? And that's the end.